Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Broke Watch Fanatic, and today we'll be reviewing a product from the company DIY Watch Club. I'm sure if you're involved in the watch community, you've seen and heard about them. They're a company based out in Hong Kong, and they specialize in helping you build your very own mechanical watch. The concept of building your own watch from installing the movement, the dial, and the handset was something that any watch enthusiast would love to jump on. So when DIY Watch Club reached out to me and asked if they wanted me to review one of their watchmaking kits, I couldn't resist. I quickly went over to their website to pick one that would interest me the most. I had a bunch of divers already in my collection, so I was looking for something different. Their skeleton dials were pretty cool, as well as their GMTs. But what really caught my eye was the 44mm Big Pilot. But before I talk about the watch itself, I want to talk about my experience with building this watch with the kit that they supplied. The kit was presented in their DWC Pro tool set with the box upgrade. It comes with all the tools you need plus the Miyota movement, movement holder, handset, dial, watch case, and the strap. DIY Watch Club provides two sets of handsets in case you make a mistake, so that was a nice touch. The premium tools and parts are neatly laid out before you, and the instructional videos that they have online are clear and provide good macro footage on how to assemble your watch. The hardest part of the install for me was installing the seconds hand, which they did warn me about. In fact, they consider this pilot watch the advanced level and the most challenging set for watch hand installation. I had to be extra careful placing it on the post. The reason why it was so hard for me was because it was difficult to see if the seconds hand was resting on the post. So make sure you have great lighting and check from all angles before putting pressure on the seconds hand. Also make sure you watch their videos in its entirety, at least once because they give you tips and tricks and alternate methods on the installation that may help you if and when you're stuck. Okay, let's look at this pilot's watch. I mean, how cool is this dial? If you're like me, sometimes you're in the mood to wear a large watch, even if there is a bit of overhang on your wrist. And what better way to do it with a style of watch that's known to be large on your wrist, a pilot's watch. The prominent Arabic numerals just pop along with those large, broad sword hands. You can literally tell the time on this watch from across the room something John Mayer would say on Talking Watches. The dial is a matte black finish with the numerals in faux patina loom. It looks like the dial was sourced from a company called Ionic, another Hong Kong based company that customizes watch dials. And I'm not sure if the handset is from the same company, but the faux patina is an exact match to the loom on the dial. The numerals and the hands are so large that there is plenty of luminescent materials painted on. As we move on to the crown, that crown is massive, measuring at 10 millimeters at its widest point and reminds me of IWC's big pilot crown. I think I should have gone for the one with the case that's plated with silver so that it'll give off that aged, distressed look over time to match the faux patina, but I'm happy with my choice. I measured the case diameter to be a bit larger than the written specs at 44.8 millimeters with a lug to lug of 52 and a half millimeters and 12.4 millimeters thick. It comes on a 22 millimeter brown leather strap with quick release spring bars. The case is well finished from the brushed surfaces on the lugs and sides of the case to the polished surfaces on the bezel, crown and exhibition case back. The movement is not the best looking movement but you're paying for the experience, not a high-end luxury Swiss movement. All in all, the experience is truly rewarding and satisfying once complete, and you certainly have a greater appreciation for the art of watchmaking, even though you've only touched the surface. The watch already has sentimental value because it's a watch that you built and hand-assembled yourself, and you can be proud of that when you wear it on your wrist. Maybe down the line, they'll have a complete watch assembly kit that involves assembling the movement from scratch. But at the very least, I hope they come out with more designs soon to cater to more people, 
maybe mix and match handsets and dials. If you have always been interested in building your own watch and you're a DIYer at heart, I suggest you give them a shot. Their kits are affordable and they usually have good sales going on. And it looks like they're already coming out with new products every time I check their Instagram. So I wanna thank DIY Watch Club for sending me this kit and for making me appreciate watchmaking on another level. Until next time, take care everyone.